in the book of life, right? If my conclusion, I wanted to go with the one I love the most. Yeah, that's the that's when you dig us up. That's how you find us in an yeah. embrace. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that we're gonna go to the exact same place at the exact same time. Gotcha. We might live a series of lifetimes separate before we come back in the same lifetime. Mm-hmm. But the love will still be just as strong. Got you. Oh. Right. That's what they call twin flames, but it's not what they the way they describing it is some um, uh romanticized fantasy BS. Mm-hmm. The twin flames will tear your life apart in order to put it back together correctly. Ooh. And Ooh. people ain't ready for that because that's going through um, what you call uh, a catharsis, a painful catharsis of negativity out of the self and the relationship. And you probably can't do it being close proximity to each other, lest y'all end up being toxic to each other. Mm-hmm. Right. But when, when you embrace like that, you normally have some kind of soul pact. Yeah. Right. Y'all had y'all came in, y'all might have came in at the same time with the agreement that y'all was gonna leave that way. Right, right, right. 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 And, and sometimes because outside of consciousness, you know there's no concept of time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So to a eternal, these lifetimes seem so long while we live in them, but when we leave the body, we look back on it and we be cracking up. Damn, damn. Like everything, every emotion is actually a good emotion. Every every emotion you're saying. Yeah, when you're not in the physical form. <laughs> but when you're in the physical form, some of them emotions will break you down, and that's what you came to experience. So, Ron, they, they outside the physical form, they don't have sympathy during the periods of slavery.